Hello guys, welcome to my small demonstration video about normal mapping in Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. I will show you now how normal mapping affects those pretty basic but though uh, high poly character models um, in a very decent way. Okay, um, as you can see here, uh, this model doesn't have normal maps. It doesn't need normal maps because it's very high poly. But normal maps can give um, a character model or another object, for example, or also the environment, a very nice, small, glossy effect. Um, um, in the following parts you will see how I uh, integrate those normal maps into Vampire of the Masquerade Bloodlines by using very simple techniques. So stay tuned. Okay, here you can see a normal map used as a default texture. As you can see now, the normal map just shows the heights and the depths of a texture. When you use this normal map um, together with a real texture, um, it will affect um, the texture in many ways. In Vampire of the Masquerade Bloodlines, the uh, most important task for me is that it can give it a nice gloss. Also when you, for example, walk um, around in a very dark area, you will have a small silver gloss on your leather texture, for example. Okay, um, in the next part you will see how the final result looks like. So, as you can see, the normal map is now affecting my texture in a very decent way. Um, it gives it a nice silver gloss and it uh, makes the whole character look a bit more modern. Um, I will teach you guys on planetvampire.com, a very nice site by the way, how to create those normal maps. It's very simple and pretty basic, so um, just look there and uh, yeah, it will <laughs> be no problem for you to create your own normal map mods, for example. Okay, um, I think um, the result looks pretty nice and yeah, um, I want to hear your comments um, to those normal maps. So um, I'm Warrior Shaka and peace out guys.